Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a wonderful interview with the founders of Happy Life Children's Home in Kenya. Hi, Peter and Faith, where are you dialing in from? Well, we are right here in Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, it's beautiful weather, and doing all that we can to fight uh, the coronavirus. And uh, Jim and Sharon, uh, you're on the other side of the world. Yes, we're in upper, upper New York State near Lake Champlain, about 40 miles from Canada. And, and it's not hot and sunny where you are? I'm not guessing. yet. <laughs> yeah. no. Well, it's, it's, it's cold and uh, dreary here in London, but that's not too much of a, too much of a surprise. Um, tell us a little bit about Happy Life, Peter. Well, Happy Life Children's Home is a home for abandoned babies in Kenya that we founded um, almost 20 years ago, 19 years ago. And uh, what we do, we rescue abandoned babies that are left in hospitals, streets, and uh, <coughs> uh, and everywhere. And uh, we bring them in, take care of them. They don't even come with a name. We give them a name, take them to hospital. And luckily, and so blessed, uh, two years ago, we opened the hospital, uh, Jessica Children's Hospital, that is open even for the public. And then also we have a school for them that are uh, three years and older, so we take them to school at Happy Life Christian School in uh, Juja Farm. So that's in a nutshell, that's who Happy Life Children's Home is. That's fantastic. And, and Sharon and I, uh, my wife and I, we've been to, to visit you uh, uh, seven times now for, for Christmas and New Year, and it's a wonderful experience every time we go. Um, Jim, tell us a little bit about how, how Happy Life got started. Very unexpectedly. Uh, as a pastor of a church in Delaware, I took a group of men to the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania for a men's retreat. And on Saturday morning, I was walking along a dirt path with a Kenyan man. And he said, I think we should start a home in Kenya for abandoned babies. He had seen abandoned babies. He even rescued one who later died. And so that's how it began. And the we got wisdom from the Lord in that don't try to do it yourself. Uh, the Kenyans can do anything in Kenya better than you can do. And so our goal from the very beginning was for Happy Life to be owned and operated by Kenyans. Fantastic. And, and I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, back in 2002, uh, there were just four children um, in one small location. Um, Faith, tell us how many children there are now at the two locations. We actually now have um, 150 total number of children. Uh, the baby center, which is in the Nairobi, which is basically the capital city of uh, Kenya, we have 56 babies. We just got a new baby today. And then we have um, another 94 at the second center, which we are calling Juja Farm, and that's, those are the school-going children. So they live there. They, they live in three-bedroom houses, um, several children with a, with a caregiver. We call them moms, and they also attend school there. Fantastic. I have lots of very fond memories feeding the babies um, at, at Kasarani uh, in, in Nairobi there with the, with, at the baby center. Peter, tell us about the uh, plans for the near future. Well, like I mentioned earlier, we have uh, the rescue center, we have the primary school, and we have the hospital. Uh, in the future, uh, we are working on having, establishing a high school because our children now have gotten to the age where they are in now grade nine, which already opened in January this year, but we had to start in the old facility that we have the primary school. So our plans is that uh, we'll be able to start uh, working on the facilities. We're already working on the drawings and all that. And so we'll be uh, fundraising to come up with a Christian you know, high school. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. And um, we're using Zoom today to, to do this wonderful interview with literally three corners of the world coming together uh, via the internet, which is, I still find amazing. Uh, Faith, tell us a little bit about how Zoom is transforming uh, the, the, the way that Happy Life operates. Um, I want to say it has been so instrumental in just uh, creating efficiency in our work. 
one of the beautiful things is that we, we have realized with Zoom, we don't have to travel to Juja Farm, which is usually like an hour's drive from the, the, the Kasarani Center to be able to have meetings with our management team. And because we have the management team from the hospital, the school, and uh, both Happy Life uh, centers, we are actually able to have our um, management teams using Zoom. Like last week, because of uh, the way people are being told to stay, to stay at home, because of the COVID-19, we actually held um, our meeting and it, it was so good just to be able to see everybody um, on, on camera and um, everybody learning actually how to do it, you know, because this is a bit new in Kenya. And so it was exciting for, to see how people are sometimes struggling to make sure they stay on throughout. And um, that it's just amazing. Of course, it, it has also meant that it's, uh, it has saved time, the time that would use to travel. And it is very convenient because what, and, and, and cost effective, because what we need to invest in is to make sure we have a good Wi-Fi or bundles in our phones or on the iPads for us to be able to do, uh, to use Zoom. And um, we, the fact that we can talk to many people at the same time and not necessarily be in the same room is also very helpful, especially right now when we are being told to social distance. And, um, and of course with Jim and Sharon, these days we, we don't just use the WhatsApp to talk, we actually just uh, schedule a Zoom meeting and we can have our regular directors meetings using Zoom. So it's just been amazing. Fantastic. And, and Jim and Sharon, it must have been helpful with some of the sponsorship as well with the US. Yes, it's, um, it's just helpful to have Zoom, to have meetings like this. Um, we also currently are having meetings with a group that is, that is helping us. They're called American Philanthropic, and they help um, nonprofits with fundraising and those kinds of things. And we're using Zoom for those meetings as well. So it's, it's very helpful to have Zoom. And if people want to find out more and get involved and support Happy Life, Sharon, what's the best way to do that? Um, the best way to do that is to, uh, you can go to, uh, you can purchase this book, The Happy Life Story, which Steve and Sharon wrote for us and published for us. That gives you the whole story. You can go to the website, which is happylifechildrenshome.com and you can get a lot of information there. You can see videos, you can see how to get involved. It's important for us to have volunteers. We have a sponsorship program. You can sponsor a child for $30 a month or more to help us uh, fund their care. And um, obviously, Adoption was one of our goals in the beginning. All adoptions are Kenyan at this point, and uh, we've had over 300 adoptions in the 20 years that we've had Happy Life. That's fantastic. I'm just going to share my screen now so that everybody can uh, uh, see uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Happy Life website. So there we go. That's the Happy Life uh, Children's Home website, www happylifechildrenshome.com. It's been an absolute delight talking to you guys this afternoon and um, I wish you all the best uh, at Happy Life uh, in Kenya. Thank you Thank so you, much, Steve. Steve. Thank you, Steve.